Welcome, beloveds. Welcome to Ascension Live. I am Astorius Miraculi and today the subject is World Crisis Antidote. World Crisis Antidote. Ever since COVID-19 hit, I have been receiving downloads and have written several different pieces that carry the resonance <clears throat> of an antidote. And today I am guided to read all of them for us because they carry such a wonderful resonance of the antidote of this world crisis that we are in. So I begin with virus cancellation meditation, the first one that was written. I, the great we, am empowered by everything. I, the great we, allow, receive, and eternally send forth the formless and formed reality of our sacred immunity spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, sexual, social. <laughs> okay, that comes from a different piece. I'll start again. I, the great we allow, receive, and eternally send forth the formless and formed reality of our sacred immunity spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and societally. We are empowered by everything. I, the great we, am invincible, invisible, and invulnerable to COVID-19 virus, all viruses, fear, and negativity. We bless the chaos to make it right reverse the tide and free the light. This we do by heaven's might to thus fulfill our divine birthright that only wholeness fills our sight. We see what is needed so our prayer will be heeded. We see it as though we've already succeeded. We are empowered by everything. We are healthy, we are whole, for this is the truth our Creator has told. And now we allow divine magic to unfold. I, the great we, am led by love, and love shall have its way with all. This is the way of things eternal. Our wellness is co-eternal with God. We bless all those caught up in fear. We bless and bless and love them free for this is God's divine decree. We forgive those who promote fear and darkness. We know that they will come back home. Their fear burned away on compassion's throne. We are empowered by everything. I, the great we, allow, receive, and eternally send forth the formless and formed reality of infinite safety for all. We are safe. We are abundant. We are filled with love and compassion. We realize that all of the wonderfulness and blessings and goodness of life is our own by extension. We are joined in the feeling frequency of all great realities and blessings. We are jump-started by the infinite multiplication of wonderfulness. I, the great we, am heir to the mansion of absoluteness. We know that where we give our emotional attention is what we breathe life into. 
Let not our attention be molested by fear, worry, and unconscious media frenzies. Divine Creator, bless the dark media, for they know not what they do. Sweet source of life, guide our attention to focus upon health, wholeness, goodness, abundance, safety, patience, forgiveness, love, compassion, creative expression, a world of wholeness and all good things. We are empowered by everything. I, the great we, see what is needed that our prayer will be heeded, see it as though we've already succeeded. We have faith in advance and good is left not up to chance. We invoke the spirit of fire and purge the enemy of our desire. We make the wise decision to maximize our vision. Hear ye, O world, play not a game of chance. Maintain a lofty attitude to conquer lowly circumstance. Some circumstances seem so bad, though, goodness in disguise. It's up to us to see the good or else be victimized. For if a circumstance seems down and we reject it with a frown, that circumstance is then compelled to pull us down in mental hell. But if we keep our mind on high, our gaze on high, Despite the pain of circumstance, up with our attitude the circumstance rises and beyond its pain we then advance. Bitter circumstance is as a medicine to bring the wellness of a learned lesson. But we must swallow this medicine down to receive the healing and achieve the blessing. For if we spit this medicine out, life gives another dose without a doubt. Then we become victim of circumstance, a tyrant from which we can't advance until we learn to face it with a smile, drink that bitter cup and go the extra mile so that all things may be enhanced because your attitude is more important than circumstance. We are empowered by everything. I am that I am the oneness of love. I am that I am the oneness of love. I realize that love is omniactive, ever expanding and co-eternal with God. Love is omnipresent, omniscient and omnipotent. There is no spot where love is not. Love is the sweet spot of the universe, the I and the I am of the storm. Love is the sacred pause, the stillness and slow motion. At the very heart of life's turbulent trials, the I and the I am of the storm is that center place of exquisite calm and is thus named because it is shaped like an eye. So I will see with the eye of love into the central core where all beings are uncontaminatable and unassaulted. My soul is the vessel for the journey of love upon the ocean, forever unveiling the key to the mastery of my being. I am that I am the oneness of love, hand in hand and heart in heart with love. I live in the central core where I am invincible, invisible and invulnerable from all dis-ease and difficulties of life. I am that I am the oneness of love. I let love love me and the floodgates of love flow like waterfalls from heaven through the vessel of my soul. I allow love to have its way 
with me and I realize that there is one great ocean of love and it is not compartmentalized as my love, your love, his love, or her love. I am that I am the oneness of love. There is only one life in which we all share and only one love through which we all care. Only one being in all that we're seeing, a slumbering giant, is what we are freeing. We all drink from and express within this great ocean of love based upon our evolvement and the mastery of our being. The ocean of life is one infinite being expressed in a multitude of personal ways. Love is like a mountain with no measurement of its high, an ever-rising monument that grows beyond all skies. Love is the great antidote for all the ills of life, a healing ray that's sent from God, dissolving pain and strife. I am that I am the oneness of love. I prememorate the ascended future where love is having its way with all and everyone surrenders to love, and normal is the great above. I am that I am the oneness of love. Love is a river that I have been carried by, bathed in and filled with, until ecstasy poured from my heart like a mighty waterfall, blessing everything and everyone around me. I am so in love with love. Love is galloping ecstasy with wings that fly away with me. Love takes me by delicious surprise with every breath that the universe breathes through me. Oh, love, how you touch my soul, bonding eternal as we unfold. You gave my heart without a doubt something new to throb about. I shower with a wine of compassion and bathe in the holy waters of ecstatic love. The ring of my bond with love is the circle of eternity which has no ending. We are the microcosm of the celestial marriage of God, Goddess, the macrocosm. One love, one life, one being is who I am within the temple of heaven's house. I do. Take love to be my spouse. Behind the mask of COVID-19, here's the story of COVID-19, a deadly virus that's come on the scene, trying to blind us with fear and divide us with woe, but we are much stronger than this virus knows. We are born of creator from heaven above. Our deepest being is wholeness and love. Heart, mind, and soul divinely immune. Empowered we are by this would-be doom. While holding that space of six feet apart, be in your love and share from your heart. Our life is infinite as God's own breath. So don't be assaulted by fear of death. We walk down the halls of eternity. So calm down, beloved. We are safe. We are free. Let's see what is needed that our prayer will be heeded. Let's see it as though we've already succeeded. Health and wholeness is our divine birthright. Affirming this will thus heal our plight. Though things seem worse than our darkest dream, we will find our way. We will be redeemed to a world without fear and malicious control, a new paradigm into which we unfold. No mask will drive a wedge between us, won't silence our voice, won't break our trust, won't rob us of breath, won't taint us with fear. Our heart mind is open. We are strong. We are clear. No matter what crisis this virus will bring, 
we are empowered by everything. With the eyes of God, we see past the lie where sickness will perish and death will die. Letter to my blessings, dear blessings, one and all. Thank you for pouring down like waterfalls from heaven upon me, every being and the whole sweet earth. Thank you, Creator Source, for aligning us with our worthiness that summons all blessings that are, were, or ever will be. Every time is now. Every space is here. Everyone is me. Dear love, wisdom, and divine power, thank you for awakening within the heart-mind of myself and all. Thank you, love, for being our eternal go-to and being instantly available to us no matter how long we have turned away from you. Hmm, thank you for teaching us that to love all beings is to love the furthest reaches of our own self. Love is eternal and hate will pass away. Thank you, wisdom, for being the awareness within us that we are rising triumphant over every world crisis. We are empowered by everything. Thank you, wisdom, for affirming my redemption and the redemption of all. At the center of our being, we are all innocent and by mercy and compassion, under heaven we are sent. Resurrection of ascension, and God is found in man and woman, and we all are family members of the great ascended clan. Thank you, divine power within me and all for being our world-wide affirmation of dissolving fear, dis-ease, and malicious mechanisms of control. Dear divine love, thank you for intimately introducing us to compassion and motivating us to share it with all. Thank you, compassion, for teaching me for teaching us that we are co-eternal with God and how to guide darkness back into the family of light. Dear God, Goddess Absolute, thank you for revealing in me that I am a prime creator. Thank you for teaching us that all blessings and realities already exist as formless embryos in the vortex womb of creation, in the vortex womb of our soul. Thank you for teaching us that in order to bring creation into manifestation, we simply allow ourselves to receive what is already given and to focus our attention upon only that which we truly want. Within our asking and allowing is the blossoming seed of our receiving. All genuine prayers are pre-answered and all blessings are pre-given. The pre-physical level of reality is the first level of giving and receiving. Dear infinite blessings, I allow and let there be your eternal downpour upon me and the all that is. I am that I am. I dream awake and it is done. I channel God's love. I channel the love that God feels for me. I allow love to have its way with me as I express love to me and all that is. I channel the full power of God, Goddess Absolute, angels and ascended masters. I allow the harmonic convergence of my consciousness with the ascended host. I remember and allow the divine resonance of my existence all realities and experiences a servant unto my expansion and empowerment. I am empowered by everything. 
I channel the peace that God intends for me. I am in the arms of peace, that peace that surpasses all understanding. I am immune to all viruses, disease, and anti-divinity. If it ain't divine, it ain't mine. Only what's divine is truly mine. I channel the wisdom from the heart of God. I am infinite intelligence and the awakening of cosmic consciousness. I am the spiritual and biological living library containing the knowledge of everything that is, was, or ever will be. The Akashic records have been downloaded into my mind. I dream awake total enlightenment. I commemorate the infinite past and prememorate the eternal future which is harmonically converged in the now memoration of my now moment. I remember who I am. I remember that I am is the name and the nature that I share with God in the family of life. I channel the unlimited material abundance of God and I am a billionaire of being. I honor my wealth of form and formlessness. I channel my inner child, the little elder within me who is the root of my godhood. I play my way all the way back into the arms of God absoluteness. The way is shown and I am home. I channel God's divine vision. I see and awaken the intended beauty and blessings within everyone and everything. The supreme peace of Creator Source flows in and through me, and all who are in my eternal presence are lit up with this radiance. I am so honored to be a beloved source of life's expansion and empowerment. Blessed be God's giving through me. I channel God's worth and infinite validation of my soul. With eyes of wisdom I see that God loves and validates me by virtue of my being. So from now on I will do, achieve, and create for the sheer joy of it. Yes, my Creator has taught me that the true measurement of my worth is in the root of my being. I therefore live, move, and have my being in infinite intelligence and abundance absolute. I channel my divinity. I allow my awakening. I am that I am God within my body, mind, heart, and soul. Letter to Mama and Grandmama Ayahuasca. Dear Mama and Grandmama Ayahuasca, we call upon your healing spirit to invoke the sacred alchemy to transform the numerous crises of our world. Many of us have traveled to the Amazon to meet with you and ingest your plant medicine, and often you have come to many of us to initiate us into the eternal remembrance of our divinity. Now we, as the omnipresent masses, choose to receive your spirit into our consciousness for world healing. By virtue of what already is in eternal reality, thank you, Grandmama Ayahuasca, for empowering us to realize the dissolution of all mechanisms of sickness, fear, hatred, and malicious control. Thank you, Mama, for being the omnipresent vision and intention within us to see and allow this miscreation of darkness back into the family of light. Mama, by virtue of your compassion, we invoke and dream awake the reality of malicious governmental forces coming back into divine alignment. By the power of Grandmama Ayahuasca, we appeal to and summon forth the central core essence of every being upon planet Earth. As God is our omnipresent center, we turn to that place within where only God dwells and the sacred funeral pyre of the Phoenix purges all anti-divinity. We invoke and dream awake, God Goddess within all. Mama, 
By your grace we turn to that place within where fear never was, where hatred and poverty is a lie, where only by divine light are we led, where death is forever dead. Thank you, Mama Ayahuasca, for holding us in the presence of mind, heart, and awareness that we contain within us the solution to every problem, the answer to every prayer, the fulfillment of every intention, and the wellness of every illness. We open to the wisdom and guidance known by all of the sacred plant medicines we see every focal point of consciousness and being receiving this wisdom we dream awake all unconsciousness into cosmic consciousness we allow and dream awake our connected empowerment through every divine breakthrough and healing in sacred ceremony Thank you, Grandmama Ayahuasca, for living the reality through us that every wonderful blessing and healing is already done, that we are empowered by everything, that everything is servant unto our highest good. Thank you for keeping us steadfast in holding the vision of every being upon our planet being aligned with the divine intention of love, wholeness, immunity, sacred brother sisterhood, wisdom, and divine power, and knowing that the victory is already ours. Blessed be world wholeness and ascension. I see myself as God sees me. I see myself as God sees me, cut from the sacred cloth of Creator's own divinity, a microcosm of God's allness I am, journeying down the corridors of an eternal expand. We are all fashioned of sacredness and heavenly purity. So let's purify our gaze, rise up and truly see. We have no business called original sin. Who we really are is the deepest light within. The outer human darkness of sickness, fear and pain was never meant to last and will certainly not maintain. So let's see ourselves as God sees us transcendent beyond all fear and the keepers of heaven's trust we are sacred we are pure we are wise we are strong we are light we are love we are healed we are whole we are abundant we are at peace Duke. <laughs> mm. 
Thank you for receiving those downloads, beloveds. Uh, it felt really wonderful to me to string them all together like that. I think the first one was written mm, like way back in March sometime. So those are the downloads for the purpose of the world crisis antidote. <clears throat> appreciate you tapping in with me receiving the downloads and uh, maybe we have a moment we can uh, if you'd like to get online with me have something really meaningful something that you feel would be a catalyst of blessing for all of the beloved so go ahead and put your uh, request in and I'll bring you on and uh, other than that I'll probably you know, come to the, the place of closing this transmission. But let me put my commercials in. I didn't say them earlier purposely because I just felt the transmission being so important. Uh, but be sure and check out my website, astarius.com. I've got a great number of musical albums and a couple of books there. I'm available for intuitive astrological insight, 
as well as transmissions of healing with didgeridoo and vocal harmonics. I also teach Reiki. I'm broadcasting from the Red Rocks of Sedona, Arizona, which is my home, which uh, is uh, surrounding my home temple, which is Ascension Temple that you can see the backdrop of. And so uh, maybe you're coming to Sedona at some point and you can do some work with me in person, but I also do a great amount of work virtually, you know, from uh, or with that is people, you know, nationally and internationally and all over. Oh, matter of fact, it looks like maybe I have some people who have requested. Let's see. Let's see. Was there anybody asking here? We have a couple of uh, requests here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Hey, love, and may all our dreams come true as the moon comes into places. Beautiful. I agree with you. Also, that's one thing I wanted to mention as I began this live. The moon was exactly conjunct the planet Jupiter. You know, and so the moon is all of the things that we contain within. The moon is symbolic of the uh, Akashic records or the microcosm that we are, which is the container for the Akashic records. Oh, okay. Let's see. Well, I thought I had someone that was asking, but I guess that's not so. Anyway, yes, the moon is the is the symbol of the microcosm that we are that contains the Akashic records being the book of God's remembrance representing the knowledge of all things that are, were, or would ever come to be. And the beloved says here, I would be happy to walk us through a heart space breath. Yes, we receive all of that divinity being offered Hello, everyone. Oh, peace and peace and blessings to you, beloved. So, first of all, just tell me what's on your heart that brought you on in this now moment. Um, just sharing the knowledge of uh, our superpower of choice, and instead of choosing to live one hundred percent of the time in our brain or our mind, just drop that seed of consciousness into our heart center and gain that higher level of perspective in our local reality. I love that. I quite often say to people, it's so important that we learn to feel with our mind and think with our heart. Uh, yeah. What's your name, beloved? My name is... Uh, say again? Uh, Samson Little Wolf Loose. That is my okay. name. Okay, Samson Little Wolf. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And and what is the the most wonderful blessing that you bring to the table of life how do you bless life um well i think i do it in uh, multiple ways but one of the ways is uh the job that i have the occupation i'm a spring water delivery man here in colorado and so i deliver in colorado to wyoming and i bless every single bottle of water that i touch and hand deliver to people's doors offices you know i'm everywhere and I'll also just people along my way, just connecting my sacred heart to anybody's Beautiful. sacred heart. Now, you sent me an email relative to this water thing, didn't you? I remember I, somebody I sent. Yeah, OK. Yeah, I remember something about blessing the water. And, you know, and that's a really beautiful thing that you do that. And, and as you are, you know, delivering that water, you know, that water has an interconnectedness, you know, with all of the water that is, was or ever will be. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, because there's really one water that is, you know, infinitely many faceted, yeah. you know, and it's beautiful to understand that. That's why I often say, you know, that one wave is qualitatively all that the ocean is. And even if you take just one drop out of the ocean and analyze it, then you find every element found in the whole body of the ocean is also in the one wave. You know, yeah. just like every element to be known of God, God is absolute, is also found within the one wave of any one of our human lives. And it's time to own all of who we are and not be renting with option to buy. 
So I'm very happy to hear that you're blessing all of that water. And so that's one of the ways in which you bless life. Is there another way that you, that you bless life? Um, yeah, so I'm actually a certified angelic Reiki healer as well. And so I do that work whenever it just comes into my life, you know. And uh, I also create energetic tools. Um, this is called a tensor ring. This one, in, in example, is a, a tensor field bracelet generator, but this is the golden fire version. But basically, th what this tool is, it's an ancient technology, and it's been brought back. And uh, basically what it is, this is creating a field of energy that is neither um, electric or magnetic. So basically it columns of light. And so what I do is I try to, <clears throat> I'm also a, uh, a light builder. So I create these tools and I create other tools like Organite. And uh, mm -hmm. what I'm main missions is just uh, anchoring columns of light. And so this is a, a conscious thing that I'm going to walk us through the heart space breath. But we can consciously anchor columns of light anywhere and everywhere just by using our consciousness. So beautiful, from, uh, like the five G towers or you know okay. intersection, you know a police building. I, I light anchor anywhere I go as I'm delivering water. Just beautiful. Just trying to you know uh, help out, and then I also make my organite pieces, and I make little puzzle pieces. Let's see. Here's one. Now, while you're grabbing that. I have a question for you. That's beautiful. I, I, I make a lot of crystal wands as well. And uh, so I'm, my question to you is, what do you say to the person who says to you, well, I don't need those tools because I don't want to depend upon something outside of myself. What do you say to that person? I say that's fine, you know, and that's, that's totally okay. And uh, like I was saying, I'll make these pieces and then I'll give them out to random people that I see. Okay, beautiful. To an now, officer, you're the missing link. <laughs> That's a okay. And now, the reason why I ask you that question is that uh, that question gets posed to me sometimes with regards to the crystal wands, you know, that I make. And they say, well, you know, I don't, you know, I don't like to depend upon anything outside of myself. And, you know, this is a thought that is in many people's mind, even some people that really love crystals and love organite and love these different you know energy tools and they sometimes um will feel like well maybe i'm not supposed to be dependent upon this thing outside of me now what i say to people when when they ask that question you know i will say well first of all there is nothing outside of yourself you're not depending upon something that is outside of you. You're being supported by the part of you whose name is Crystal Wan or whose name is Organite, you know, or whose name is Crystal in general. Because, you know, there anything that is genuinely real is an extension of our own self. And that helps a lot of people to, to recognize, oh, no, I'm not really... Uh, reaching outside of myself. I'm looking at somebody saying here, I don't believe you have a video for the wand. Somebody's asking about the crystal wands. Let me grab a wand and just say a couple, because they were asking me to explain the science. So hold on just a moment. <clears throat> and so, yeah, like I was saying, I, I get these pieces and I'll go out and give them to random people and say, <clears throat> and say, you're the missing link. And I'm just trying to create more attitudes of gratitude. Beautiful. So to that person that asked the question, about the crystal wand and the science behind my crystal. This one here is uh, amethyst, you know, an amethyst geode. And then on the bottom here, you know, we have an amethyst sphere. And I put crystal chips in here so that it becomes a rattle as well. When I make these wands, and here's another one that's uh, a clear quartz, you know, here. And then it has a, a rose quartz you know, on the uh, uh, the base here. This one is a Marcel, uh, a Vogel cut, you know, that uh, that person, that famous crystal person, Marcel Vogel, that started uh, cutting the crystals 12-sided. So this is one of them. But anyway, when I make the crystals or the crystal wands, that is, I weave within them the resonance of the multidimensional ascended self, that part of us that is beyond all human woes and beyond all human pains. I use the combination of spirit and science. So the antenna that you see here in electronics, that would be called the main coil. 
Underneath the dressings is a network of wire wraps linking the crystal going along the copper tube. This is copper tube underneath there. Okay, and in electronics, that would be called the secondary coil. And so it is the number of turns of wire in the secondary coil that is the means by which there is the multiplication of the energy. The, the power of the wand is multiplied by the number of turns of wire in the secondary coil. You know, the crystal is symbolic of spirit. I use leathers and suede to wrap, you know, because that's the skin of animal in the flesh kingdom, symbolizing the physical body. Animal, and I'm all, and I'm all, animal, and I'm all. And that's the, the wisdom that animal brings because it's coded within the very name, the and I'm all spirit. And also, lastly, I like using the leathers and suede because they're porous, you know, and uh, when you work with it, you know, what happens is there's a, a releasing of your DNA through the moisture in your hand, and there's a twinning that happens with the wand. So, you know, if you have other questions, and matter of fact, I'm in the process, of, I have one wand available left, but I'm in the process of making about seven more. So somewhere within the next mm, three, four days, you know, I'll put some out that are available. But that's, you know, my response. Okay, and let's see. And how does it affect the aura of the macabre? Well, it brings about an alignment. It brings about a triggering of eternal remembrance because the main resonance that I weave into these instruments when I make them is ascension. You know, the ascension being representative of that multidimensionality of who we are. That's something that we are that can walk on water, that can raise the dead, that has the knowledge of all things, that can bilocate, that is, you know, uh, entered changeably dancing through the omnipresence, you know, and the omniscience, you know, the all knowingness, you know, um, and so it's, it's all of that. I mean, that's the impact that is meant to have upon the Merkaba, upon the light body, among other things, because there's also the intentionality that is brought into it, you know, relative to the person who owns it. So that's the extent of what I want to say about it for right now. Um, but thank you so much for that question, because I'm sure that a lot of people had that that question in mind. So, um, Brother Solomon, you said Solomon Little Wolf? Is that what you said? Samson. Samson Little Wolf. Samson, not Solomon. Samson. Well, they were in the same family. Yeah. <laughs> Samson. Okay, got you now. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, question, you know, how have you been faring through our world crisis you know and uh, um what would you say to encourage others to be empowered you know through this world challenge that we're dealing with um <clears throat> well i think uh, first off the the ironic thing is kind of collectively we're being forced to wear masks when collectively we're also releasing all of these masks or yes. being called to at least. Okay. So, um, what what I do is just try to have gratitude for everything that comes up in my awareness, whether it be good, bad, ugly. I try not to attach too much to things because then you know you can get lost, especially into yourself. But I think um, just trying to maintain constant attitudes of gratitude for any fear that shows up, and also the the biggest thing is just the heart space it's like the a series of breaths you just take three breaths and it's the trinity breath and with the first breath you just breathe in the infinite love from the crystal sun deep within beautiful heart beautiful well breath is a really important piece i'm glad you brought up the breath because we live in a world where so many people are shallow breathers you know when breath is actually god hiding in plain sight inside of us you know, when God breathed the breath of life into us, it was actually God breathing the fabric of God's own being into us, allowing us to become a micro cosmic extension of the macrocosmic all that God is. So that when people breathe shallow, that's like a death wish, you know, because there is an unwillingness to, to ingest as much of God as one can ingest. Because every time we're breathing, we are ingesting God. You know, and so, like you mentioned, the mask is very important 
you know, that when wearing the mask, you could take a couple drops of peppermint oil and drop it in down toward the chin part of the mask. You don't want to put it up you know, too high because if it's too close to the eyes, it can burn the eyes. But that will then bring in a greater measure of breath. You know, because, you know, the deep breath is also a means by which we oxygenate the brain cells. And so one of the unfortunate things about having to wear a mask is that the brain cells are oxygen starved. Now, we can, of course, make sure that we're doing things to really up level the measure of breath that we're bringing in the body, bringing more breath into the body when we're outside of the mask. And like I said, with peppermint oil in the mask, that will cause a deeper breathing. And then also a really important thing is making sure to not get caught up in the fear waves that are connected to the mask, you know, because you know, there are agendas within agendas within agendas behind the mask and COVID-19 and all of that. And all of those agendas are not coming, you know, from a clean place. Yes, somebody says eucalyptus oil as well. And that's true, too, uh, for in the mask. Sometimes eucalyptus and peppermint. I used to use both of them, you know, together. That's so anyway, let's bring more breath into the body, you know, because that, you know, makes the mind sharper. You know, and we have more vitality and everything. So breath is certainly a really, really important thing. And um, I guess the last thing I want to say before we start winding down here, I remember, you know, a couple of months ago, I guess, I suddenly realized, wow, I have really married this uncertainty that we're experiencing in the world. You know, and it wasn't like I was reaching out to try to make peace with uncertainty. I suddenly realized that I was passionately married to the uncertainty. And then what the creator said uh, is to lay my head in the lap of the certainty of my eternal nature. And that's something that we can all find comfort in. You know, there is uncertainty about what is unfolding in the immediate future of our human life here on earth. And yet there is a certainty that we are co-eternal with God and we can find great comfort in that reality. So, you know, yeah. that's uh, the bottom line. You have a bottom line uh, for us before I uh, release you and then, and then close out the transmission. <laughs> Um, I would say just uh, focus more of our attention onto our hearts by just connecting to that crystal sun within the earth, connecting to source, creator, God, however you choose to see that and say it, and then merging earth, sky, and you. So you are a empowered, quantum, Beautiful. unlimited creator. And we are all. Okay. And, and uh, do you sell your organite? I do. Mm -hmm. um, and, and how can, real quickly, how can people reach you? And in a nutshell, though, give me a nutshell. Let people know how they can get a hold of you. Reach out, uh, Spaceman Samson on Instagram. Send me a DM. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Brother King. I love you. Good fortune in all that you are and all that you do. You as well. I have a great spirit. Okay, beloveds, we had a wonderful time, and be sure and share uh, this, you know, the certainly the replay will be available, and, um, you know, share this video with as many people as you can. I think it can be very, very helpful. I love you with the passion of heaven. Again, check my website out, astarius.com. I have a great number of music albums, a couple of books. And I'm available for intuitive astrological readings and sound healing transmissions with didgeridoo vocal harmonics. And I also practice and teach Reiki. Many people have been coming to Sedona to have that experience with me. Even when I don't have group trainings, I am available for one-on-one -on -one trainings. And uh, um, also share your comments because many people are greatly blessed by your comments. I have more than 700 videos across the platforms of YouTube, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. So be sure and partake of that. I feel so honored for the great numbers of people I'm touching, you know, approaching um, 3 million views across those three platforms. And uh, I thank Creator absolutely for that. So I love you with the passion of heaven. You know, be kind to yourself in all that you are and all that you do.